This portion of the news is brought to you by Shell Helix Ultra. Performance you can see. Welcome back to the Bahamas Tonight Weekend. Earlier this week, ZNS News reported an alleged hunger strike involving four Cuban female migrants housed at the Carmichael Road Detention Center for overstaying their time in the Bahamas. At a press conference this afternoon, Foreign Affairs and Immigration Minister Fred Mitchell said to categorize the actions of those Cuban migrants as a hunger strike is misleading. He explained what really transpired at the detention center on Thursday. On Saturday, the 16th of March, the four Cuban females began wearing shirts with reference to political asylum. On the same day, the individuals displayed banners on the detention center's fence. These banners were subsequently removed by officers at the center. As is the normal practice, food was prepared for and served to these individuals. They refused to eat the food prepared by the staff of the detention center. However, it was confirmed that the four women have been consuming food received from visitors who are allowed to bring food to detainees on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Therefore, while the women have not been eating the food provided, they are, and at all material times, were in possession of food and were eating as food was found in their dorms during routine room checks. Since then, Minister Mitchell confirmed all four women were extensively interviewed by trained officers of the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, and it was determined that they do not qualify for political asylum. Mitchell noted it was during that interview that the women informed relevant authorities that they did not want to return to Cuba, so they refused to eat the food provided to them. The immigration minister indicated that those migrants were later examined by a doctor and were all found to be in good health. Meantime, he said immigration officials will closely monitor an alleged demonstration against the Bahamas at the site of our consulate in Florida on Monday. A group of 17 Cuban nationals, that's 14 men and three women, arrived at the Royal Bahamas Defense Force's Coral Harbor Base yesterday afternoon and are now in the hands of immigration authorities. Defense Force officials apprehended the group on Key Lobos, that's in the southern Bahamas, on Friday. Defense Force officials indicated that the Cuban nationals were dehydrated but appeared to be in good health. The Defense Force's public relations officer, Senior Lieutenant Origin Delavo, compared the number of Cuban, Cubans to hu Haitian migrants captured over the past few years. Past five years or so, uh, statistics reflect that only 150 migrants, Cuban migrants, would have been apprehended as it relates to the Defense Force apprehensions, compared to 4,000 plus for Haitian migrants. Call it a trip of a lifetime, but the intent was to spread the message of Jesus Christ. Superintendent of the Big Harvest Community Sunday School in Woods Alley, John Ferguson, recently visited Shanai, India, where he addressed thousands of Indian youth on the impact his school has made on Bahamian children learning more about Jesus Christ. Ferguson's one-week trip to India was on invitation from Metro Missions, an Indian-based nonprofit organization committed to reaching children affected by poverty drug addiction, and other social ills. The retired assistant police commissioner visited five schools in this southern Indian city with a population of 8 million. In the slums of Chennai, I was able to gather hundreds of kids and we had a mini Sunday school rally. And it was so impressive, the parents, children of Hindu background, children of all different persuasions, they sat down quietly and the interpreter was able to interpret everything that I said and they understood it and the reception was so great, I, I could hardly move because they surrounded me, they wanted autographs, and they wanted to visit the Bahamas, and they were so impressed. I, I am happy that I was able to, to go there and witness, and, and really the bottom line is share Jesus Christ with them. Despite their religious backgrounds, Mr. Ferguson noted that the Indian Mission Group was excited to learn more about Jesus Christ and their chance to visit the Bahamas the teachers, they are all interested in someday visiting the Bahamas. And our country has been, as I, I left an indelible impression upon the children, because I told them they are the future of India, the children in the Bahamas are the future of the Bahamas, and there is now a bond between Big Harvest and Metro and the children of India. 
Today is observed as Palm Sunday on the Christian calendar, and it marks the start of Holy Week. Many Christians remember Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, which is traditionally celebrated on the Sunday before Easter Sunday. We visited the Palm Sunday service for the Queen Bathsheba chapter of Order of Eastern Stars this afternoon at St. George's Anglican Church. The service was just one held by the Lodge around the country and worldwide. About 60 of the female members attended the service with their male colleagues. That does it for this portion of the news. Stay tuned and check on sports is up next with Julian Gibson.